Okay, today we're going to be looking at compatible numbers when we are doing division. So our compatible numbers are numbers in a problem or related numbers that are easy to work with. Mentally, it's like you can do this easily in your head. It's like 720 and 90 are compatible numbers for division because 72 divided by 9 is 8. So that's when there's patterns of 10. All right, so when you're using compatible numbers, finding a quotient using compatible numbers, the first you should do is say it in your head and then round it to its compatible numbers and then divide mentally. So let's just do some practice with those. When you know your facts, multiplication fact, this makes it really easy. So if you're still struggling with those, let's make sure we can some practice with those. Okay, so here we go. We have 273 divided by 3. So you want to take and look at your numbers. And basically, you're going to kind of, if it's a one digit, we're going to basically leave it the same. If it's a three digit number, you want to kind of look at it and just kind of like you're setting up a whole new problem and you're kind of thinking about putting a zero at the end. I'm going to divide by three. So then I'm going to kind of look at 27. And 27 is close to what multiple, what fact of um, three. If I would leave it at this on this one, it was really easy. I would just stay at 27. Because then 3 can go into 27 9 times, and then there's a 0 in my quotient, so there should be a 0. I mean, sorry, there's a 0 in my dividend, so there should be a 0 on either my quotient or my divisor. So it would be 3 times 90 equals 270, so that would be the most compatible. You want to kind of think about the two that are surrounding it. So it would be like 240, which would be times 80, and 270. Kind of where you think about, so you'd know which one's the most compatible. All right, let's look at another example. So this one we have 256 divided by 4. So again, you want to kind of think about, okay, so I'd kind of think about putting a 0 on the end. I'm always going to divide by 4. We don't want to touch those single digits for the most part. And then two, you have 25, so you want to think, okay. So you always want to think. Remember, think of those two. So it would be taken to 240, or the next multiple of 4 would be 280. So it's closer to go to 240. And so what times 4 is going to give me 240, and that would be 60. So 4 times 60 is 240, so those are compatible numbers. All right, here's the name, same thing, double digit. So this one you are going to round, so you're going to kind of think about where you're close to, the 3 and the 7, so the 7 is what I'm looking at. That's 3 leaves 7 pretty close, so we're going to leave it at 7 and make the other second, the second one's place digit a 0. Then you go back here. You're kind of going to do the same thing. You want to basically kind of look at these two. So you're like going to put two zeros. And then 13, think about, you know, you're kind of, for a while, you're just kind of ignoring the this, this zero. So 13 is close. I could either go to 14 or I could go to 7 would be the two facts. So times 1 or times 2. And so I'm going to go with 14. And so 70 times what's going to give you 1,400. And that would be times 20. So our 2 times 7 is my 14, and 2 zeros, so I should have 2 zeros, okay? So here's a word problem let's look at. At the fair, Bobby has 731 ride tickets. Each ride on the Ferris wheel costs 6 tickets. About how many times can he ride the Ferris wheel? So we might mark your important information. So it's 731 ride, ride tickets. Each ride costs 6 tickets. About times on the Ferris wheel. Okay, so you want to take that, so I'm going to do 731 divided by 6. Okay, so we want to take and think about those facts. Well, I've got the one that I know. Well, 7 times 12 gives me 720, because 72, 6 times 12 is 7. So that's where I'm going to go, because I don't know my facts for 13. All right, and then what times 7 is going to give me? So I know that's 12, and i got to have a 0 on one of these, and I'm dividing by 6, so 0 would be here. So the compatible numbers would be 6 times 120. So my best answer would be 120. Okay, you guys go ahead and practice this one. So Dish Company needs to ship an order of 368 glass bowls. Each shipping box can hold six bowls. About how many boxes will the company need? Be sure to do your UPS check. So have that information that's important written down. And then, of course, your correct answer. All right. Next one, a house painter has $2,856 to, $2 to buy paint. If each can of paint costs $4, about how many cans of paint can the painter buy? Make sure you do the UPS check. Bring in these two problems. All right, see you all tomorrow. We'll
spend a little more time on capital numbers looking at that tomorrow.